Hi beautiful family and welcome to another of my videos. Well, it's late, it's actually 7 p.m. when I'm filming this, but I haven't been feeling well the whole day or the morning and right now, girl problems, you know, right now I feel a little bit better. So I thought that I would film this video that I really wanted to film for two weeks. These products have been sitting here in my room for two weeks and I'm excited to try them out. So if you want to see what products I'm talking about and how they work, then please keep on watching. Okay guys, so I have here in front of me some of the new products from Essence and these products are actually bought here in Sweden from our website and I don't know if they are new new in other countries but they are new to us here in Sweden and I'm talking about these pretty natural hydrating foundations that I have here. I'm also having the new fix and last jelly primer. Can very interested to see if this is like um, milk gripping primer dupe we'll see i'm having the new mascara another volume mascara just better i love the packaging god i feel why do i breathe this hard feels like i'm running i have also brow like boss ink brow gel here i also have the new lip balm uh, color changing lipstick. I have also the Hydro Hero 24 Hydrating Tinted Cream Foundation with SPF 15. So I also have some new blushes, a new highlighter, some lashes and I have a palette here. I don't know if this, this palette is new but this is how it looks. And I have, uh, yeah, all of the eight lipsticks that are Hydra Matte lipsticks. The packaging looks like this. Then we have colors. I have all eight of them here in front of me. So I'm not going to try all of these lipsticks on today. Uh, not all of the shades. I'm not going to swatch them. But if you want to see a swatch video and my thoughts later about this product, then please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Sometimes YouTube, unfortunately, unsubscribe people, which is crazy, but I, it have it had happened to me a couple of times. But yeah, I'm here to, I have also an old, old, it's not an older product from Essence that I really like. This is the Sun Club Matte Bronzer that I'll be using. I have that because I don't have a new bronzer, but I have that and some lip liners that I have for a while. But yeah, that's the products we are going to try today. So let's zoom in and let's start. We Let's go in with the Essence Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer, hydrating and refreshing, free from silicones and alcohol. And this color looks so amazing really purpley and it has this nice let's see the texture can you see how okay oh it smells really nice and fresh i'm looking at myself in viewfinder but i'm going to use this and we'll see two pumps it feels cooling Uh, feels really hydrating. It feels more hydrating than the gripping primer for milk makeup because it feels like it's it feels cold uh, on my face or like it's I don't know refreshing. So I like that. I'm just taking one small pump more. I feel like my face needs more hydration. I have oily combination skin. It actually sinks into the skin really fast. It's not tacky, um, maybe just a little bit, but not at all as a gripping primer. Makeup gripping jelly primer. Well, it doesn't feel like a gripping primer. Maybe st sticky just a little bit, but not as 
sticky as the hydro milk primer so don't expect that but it feels really really nice on the skin and i have oily combination skin my hair is a mess today guys so don't mind that okay let's go in with the foundation i don't know if i want to go with hydro hero tinted cream or i'll do that later but i think i'm going to go into pretty natural hydrating foundation with hyaluron with hyaluron and aloe vera 24 hour long lasting hydration now i'm not going to wear this the whole day because it is late but this is how the packaging looks like there are i have three shades here 50 40 and 30 and let's see about the 50. i bought three shades i don't know why but i do have self tan on and I know I think this 50 maybe will work. So we'll go in with the 50. And this shade is natural. No, 50 natural champagne. So yes, let's go with this. Could definitely be a little bit wrong shade, but we have two others to try later. I do have self-tan, like I said. I have the K Cosmetics self-tan. And I like that. And I also have some shimmer. We can't really see it. Okay, so this is the packaging. Looks really, really nice. Oh, it's sealed. That's, that's really good that this is sealed. Okay, let's see how the texture... Whoa! Oh, that's more liquid than I thought. This shade, it doesn't have any scent, but this shade looks to be... A good match. I like going in with a little bit darker shades. I remember that I don't have a new concealer from Essence, but maybe I have an older concealer that I've used before. Well, I know I had a couple that I haven't tried yet. I don't know where it is though, so maybe I went in a little bit too much. We'll see. I'm going to use a sponge. And this is probably going to work with the fun, fun, with the brush too. I can't speak. Uh, with the brush too, you'll just get like a deeper um, or more coverage. So this foundation feels light. And it's actually, I don't know if it's the primer, but when I'm going in with my sponge on my face, it's actually like a cooling sensation. I don't know. Uh, that's how it felt when I applied the, the primer. I don't know if it's the primer or this is a okay shade could actually go a little bit darker but this is the deepest i have um but this is like let's just call it one coat with a sponge and it feels really natural or it looks really natural definitely like a light medium coverage um like uh, i would like a deeper coverage i don't know if it says what kind of coverage this is let's just say hydro uh, no, this is not in English. Okay, hydrating foundation with hyaluronic acid and aloe vera. 24 hour long wear finish and lasting moisturizing with a natural coverage. Finish a weightless skin feel vegan. Okay, so this is not going to be like a high coverage, but let's just try to um, go in with another layer. And let's see if it layers nicely because this first is really nice and it definitely uh, gives a nice natural coverage but I'm like a full coverage girl so okay I just like how hydrating this foundation feels though it definitely goes into the skin nicely oh I like how it looks it's definitely now more medium coverage not not full coverage but definitely medium and it definitely looks nice so i do like it a little bit lighter than my face but we are going to go in with the bronzer it's not terrible i just like going in with a deeper color and i did go in with number 50 natural but i do have self tan this will definitely match me maybe even be a little bit too dark when my self tan fades away but we'll just self tan more you know what i do want to go in with this lip balm before I continue with my makeup. This is a hardcore 
lemon fruity lip balm with 10% sweet almond oil. And this is ultra nurturing fruit lip balm with a inner core for super smooth lips and delicate color application with ple pleasant lemon scent. I love everything with lemon scent and everything with lemon taste. I love lemon cakes, lemon muffins, lemon every tea, everything with lemon. I also like product, cleaning products that smell like lemons. I also like skin products that smell like lemons. I just love lemons. And when I saw this, of course I will buy it. Now look how cute this packaging is. And I don't know if you can see, let me open it, but it has like a heart. Can you see? Really, really nice. Really nice lip balm. Oh, and it does smell like lemons. Love it. So I'll go in with it. Mmm. It feels really nice and moisturizing. Let just my lips be moisturized while we continue with the makeup. This feels like a really good lip balm. Now I applied plenty of it just because my lips feel dry. This is also vegan. Mm. I like it. My lips look a little bit pale, but I really enjoy how this foundation looks. This is a really good surprise. I didn't thought that I would like this foundation as much as I do, but it really, really looks good. I can't find the Catrice primer that I had, but I'm going to go in with mm, this Magic Away Charlotte Tilbury. I do, ha I do have a little bit left of this. So let's go in with this concealer. So the concealer went okay on. I don't know if you can see here, but the concealer didn't actually want to stick on this foundation as nicely as it does on other foundations. Definitely these two don't like each other. So let's go in and find another concealer we can go in with. Um, the one that I really enjoy is Rebecca Stella's concealer and it's definitely one of my favorite concealers. I love Rebecca Stella's uh, foundation too. Let's just apply a little bit more, see if this is going to cover more. Yeah, this one is blending a little bit better. And now I couldn't find a new powder, but I do have plenty of powders, so it's not like we are going to miss some powders. But I do want to go in with the Huda Beauty Cherry Blossom powder. Jason Wu, I think I pronounce this. This is the eyeshadow primer. And looks like this. Okay, now we have primer on. Let's go in with this palette. Now, I did try a couple of uh, eyeshadows from the Catrice, and not, or not Catrice, Essence, but I didn't really enjoy some of them. Some of them I did like, but this palette is really stunning. And I bought it because I wanted to try the products. And I know there is a palette that I sent to my friend Valerie from Essence. I think it was Essence that one of my friends have. And she really enjoyed that palette. And um, that's why I know it's a good palette. And I did send that to Valerie. I didn't try it myself because I wanted her to have it. Um, so there are a couple of palettes that are really good. Why can't I remove this plastic? But I think I tried some one of these travel palettes or city palettes that I didn't like. Don't remember which one it was, but I know I didn't like that one. This has really beautiful, beautiful colors. Enjoy it. I don't know if you can hear my son. He's playing Fortnite with his friends a little bit loud, so sorry for that. Okay, let's go in with the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill brush number 32, a blending brush. And I will go in with um, this. Hmm. Yeah, I want to go in with this pink shade here. The first shade we have here that's number six in this. No, is it? Number one, I think it's. Yeah, number one. 
Oh, this one is pigmented. Okay, okay. I didn't expect that. Okay, I'm going to use the same shade and I'm going to go in with this number four. That's like a deeper orange color in this palette. And I'm going to hit that in the crease and just slightly above. I'm not going to go all, all the way like I did with that first shade. These two are blending really nice. So I am going to go into this color number 11 that's green, the dark green olive shade. Okay, so this green went in nice. I can say that uh, these feel more like pigments because when I go in with colors and blend them more and more, they kind of start to fade a little bit. So uh, when you have the shade where you want it, go back and just press it in there and slightly blend it with um, this small movement, more movements because if I go in and blend like I usually do with eyeshadows, then it will fade. I can say that this orange faded a little bit, but I mean, it's not bothering me. They are beautiful shades and definitely beginner friendly. Okay, somehow my eyes don't want to match, but let's just continue with it. Now we are going to use the same brush. This is actually the Luna Beauty number three that I had just for this green. Oh, my nose is itching. I'll go in with this last deep brown shade with the same brush or with the tip of the brush, just to blend here at the and to deep up this look. I want to use as many colors as possible. So I'm going to go in and use my finger and go into this shade number six. That's kind of really interesting, like a shimmery shade. And it looks to be more... Okay, oh, that's golden. This is more golden than I thought it would be, but it's a pretty shade. A little bit of fallout with this shade. Old gold, kind of more green color. I like that. I like this shade. Okay, so I'm going to go in and use my finger. And I do actually want to go into this shade number, I think it's called number nine, this shade here. Let's go in with my finger. Okay, these are pretty nice, these colors. I really like how this foundation looks on my skin, though I need to say when I went in with the conceal the first concealer, it didn't really want to cover here, or remove a little bit of the foundation down here, but could definitely play with another kind of what it's called concealer instead okay we are going to go in with the um, blush no bronzer i'm going to go in with this jeffree star and morphe i think it's called jeffree star and morphe number fifth two the two and go in with this bronzer that we have, Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzer Powder. And this is in shade Light Skin or Light Skin. I've been using this for a while and I really enjoy, sorry, and I really enjoy this bronzer. It's really nice and very buildable. It's not too warm, it's not too cold. And then we can see that I build it up this bronzer. So it's not too dark, but it's really nice for beginners. Smells really like, smells like that sun, not sunscreen, but coconutty scent. It's not overpowering, but it's really beautiful bronzer. And I really, really like it. And it's easy to build up. So you can't go, you can't use this bronzer wrong. You can't make mistakes. That's really, really good. Uh, that's why I really like it. Oh, my face is itching. Okay, I do want to in go in with the blushes. Now, I do have two blushes here. These are the new from um, 
essence I have it in shade breezy and beloved so let's swatch this this is the shade breezy and they look like to have like a satin finish to them I don't know if you can see now my fingers are that's it has a nice sheen to it yeah beautiful pinkish color and then we have uh, another one that's a little bit deeper that's 40 beloved looks like this also has a nice sheen i'm not really a fan of these kind of sheen products or blushes because it shows the that's that deeper color Ooh, which one should we go with I think we should go with this lighter shade because of the eyeshadows. Um, it sometimes kind of shows my pores funny, but we'll see. Maybe this is going to work. We don't know. And I'm using the makeup Mecca or Night Menage or Menage 5992 brush. Can't pronounce this, but this is a nice blush brush and it has. Okay, picks up. Oh, this is beautiful. I love blushes, guys. I'm obsessed with blushes, especially this year. I'm obsessed. Cream blushes, um, powder blushes, blush overall. Oh, that looks really, really good. It's not too shimmery. It has that nice satin finish, but it doesn't uh, look funny on my pores or exaggerate anything. So that's really, really good. Now we need to go in with the highlighter and for the highlighter I have this Luminous Glow, the highlighter in shade 3, Staggering. This is the product, let's open it. This is how it looks before we go in and destroy it. Oh, wow, nice, let's go in. And swatch it up here oh wow that's <laughs> that's a pretty highlighter it has like that champagne silvery but also rosy color kind of unique I like that let's go in with the highlighter brush this is my favorite highlighter brush and it's not from cash beauty number five let's go in oh wow that's pigmented okay are you ready I love highlighters so okay okay let's go in with some more oh there you go oh wow that's pretty now we do have some eyebrows to fix and I do have uh, this brow like a boss ink brow gel and this is waterproof so 72 hours wear and I don't know, I do have three, two shades, but let's go in with this dark brown. Oh, oh, okay. This is a really interesting one. I don't know how um, I feel about this. Okay, I'm scared. This is definitely dark. I kind of trying to remove some of the product because this is very liquidy and I don't know how to go use it. It's a little bit warmer than my eyebrows. I don't know how I feel about this product. This is really strange. I know if this is going to work better if you don't have a lot of hair eyebrows like I do because I don't know, it just looks funny. And this dark brown is definitely too warm for me. But let's roll with that. Really weird product. Really weird. It kind of feels like that uh, Milani mask when you, you know, apply it all over the eyebrows and then remove it. Is it like that? It doesn't sound, it doesn't feel like that. I know, it feels like I need to kind of, you know, remove it somehow. Peel it off and then it leaves that residue feels like that kind of product but maybe I'm wrong just looking for my brush I brow brush to brush it through oh no it's definitely stuck 
I mean, I... It's not really an easy product. I mean, it did fill in my brows really nicely. It does need a learning curve. Um, it's a little bit too jelly for my eyebrows, but I mean, it's too warm. I'm not hitting it. It's definitely not going anywhere though. But we'll see. For my lower lash line, I do want to go in with this blue color here. But I'm going to take just a small brush and I'm going back in that dark brown that we had very clo close to my lash line to dip it up a little bit. And then I'm going to clean this brush and going back with this kind of ice cream color that's number three here. This bright color that I just put my nail in it. Oh, very powdery and crumbly. So we need, do need to set this before we go in with mascara and I don't have um, Essence setting spray, but I do have this from Creme. I'm Radiant Beauty Water that I really, really like. And I'm going to go, I got this from my friend Valerie. She sent a couple of these to me. And these are really good. I have one at work, one in my bathroom. Um, some of them I use to set my makeup. Uh, my face looks really good. I really enjoy this foundation. This is a really, really, really good foundation. Okay, we have mascara and we are going in with this beautiful Essence Hyaluronic Acid Mascara. And let me say that I am not, haven't been able to find a mascara from Essence that it's not going to um, flake on me, unfortunately. I know they are very popular and I think I got some of my friend Valerie. They look beautiful on me, but after a couple of hours they do start to flake. And oh, this is a really interesting wand. Look at that. Okay, let's go. Oh, it kind of looks bended a little bit. I don't know if you can see it's not straight, but... So this is one coat. I mean, it looks to be a nice mascara. They definitely um, coated some lashes and make them look longer. Okay, this is me with three coats of the mascara and it looks really good on upper lower lash line, lower lashes, but look how it actually uh, transformed on to the skin or on my eyes. Even if I didn't blink or anything, it feels like I don't have to wear any lashes at all on top of this because it gave me that natural full uh, false lash effect. I feel like it. Uh, I do, but I am going to go in with lashes. I need to wait for this to dry so I can remove it. But I do have two lashes here. I have this lash like a boss. Uh, I know they don't have names. This one, the packaging is blue and this one is, I think, more like a orangey pinkish color. They are a little bit different. I don't know if you can see these, but I think I'm going to go in with these, these lashes. Okay guys, so lashes went on nice. Uh, they're a little bit too long, so I shouldn't ha should have shorten them a little bit, but they are really, really good. But I feel like uh, they were easy to, easy to apply. Okay, now I, while, I, while I was applying my lashes, I actually looked at my lips and my lips look a little bit juicier, a little bit bigger. I don't feel like it, I don't feel like this is something like a plumping product, but somehow my lips look really moistured uh, full and I don't know just more juicier so this looks to be a really good product okay I do have these hydra matte lipsticks and I'm going to apply one of these but I want to go in with this lip lipstick this is the electric color changing lipstick glow look at this neon packaging I mean this is everything everything but look inside Look at this. Have you seen something that's 
this beautiful sorry this is fingerprints all over the lipstick but look how stunning this is and it has that candy bubble gum scent oh, i'm going to try this one let's see how this is going to look on the lips i'm, not, I'm going to try it without any lip uh, lip liner because i don't want to uh, i want to see the real color of this lipstick while i apply it because it looks to be more like a pinkish but kind of see-through i don't know with some shimmer or glitter in it but it doesn't look to be a very pigmented, you know, lipstick. Let's remove some of this balm, which I really like. The balm is so, so nice. Okay, let's go in with the lipstick. Oh, it feels so moisturizing. Definitely change the color on my lips. This is so nice. I'm really liking this lipstick. Okay, it is feels like a balm, like oily balm goes on the lips, but it definitely give, give me that pink, uh, nice look to the lips. S smell is wonderful and it feels very nice on the lips. Really moisturizing, so I do like it. Do enjoy this lipstick. This is really, really good. Really, really good. But I do want to go in one of these shades here just for fun. Maybe this color. Okay, let's go in with this color. Maybe it's not going to work, but this is number uh, Virtu Votu, Virtu Rose 404. I don't know if you can see the name of this, but this is the color that we are going to use. Let's just swatch it on my hand and see if I have a lip liner. Okay, so this is really, really nice lipstick. I'm going to swatch some of these lip liners that I have from, uh, from Essence just to see if I have any similar color to this. Okay, so I did swatch a couple of these. I feel like, and I can't see, but I feel like this one is going to be a best, best match. Feels kind of sad to remove this uh, because it looks really nice. It kind of made my lips a little bit darker, just my natural color, but I really enjoy how it feels on the lips. And if you see, there is some pink residue. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, let's go in. This is the... Essence Soft Contouring Lip Liner in shade 9, Going Study. And I think I got this from my friend Valerie. A um, couple of our box swaps. Here we go. They need some time to be to warm up on the lips, but they're really good. Okay, let's go in with this, like I said, 404 shade. I'm going to do a video where a delicate video where I swatch all of these colors. So you can um, see them on the lips but today i just want to use one of these oh oh yeah oh these are beautiful beautiful lipsticks mad but still soft so comfortable oh i really enjoy this okay guys so guys this is the final look I really enjoyed these products today and I'm really surprised. I loved the primer. It felt really good on the face. It felt moisturizing, cooling, light. And I, the one thing I have to say that my face does feel a little bit sticky and I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation. Definitely could be foundation. So I'll definitely go with a matte uh, or set it more with a powder because I didn't set my face rest of my face with powder here it doesn't feel as sticky but i didn't set rest of my face with some powder and i definitely should do that if you don't want it to be as sticky as it is but not it's not too sticky but it is a little bit sticky really enjoy this i really like this essence uh pretty natural foundation it is definitely i do have plenty of makeup on but it feels definitely like my skin i know how it kind of looks on the camera but in real life it does looks re look really really good on my skin it looks really really good it kind of goes really nice with my pores goes really nice on top of my discoloration so it it's really a good a good uh, foundation. I enjoy it a lot. 
mascara i love mascara now i do have these falsies but i really enjoy the mascara and the only th i like the eyeshadow palette it is a really nice eyeshadow palette i feel like these shades are going to fade a little bit they kind of faded during me applying them on top but it didn't uh, but it didn't doesn't look bad it's really a nice it's a nice uh, really nice palette uh, but the blushes are beautiful, beautiful. Now, I haven't tried the other shade, but I'm definitely going to try it. The highlighter is amazing. Uh, the bronzer is definitely a plus. The lip glow, the lip uh, balm is a uh, good, good product. These lipsticks are so nice. I don't know if it's the, the, um, balm itself or there is something in these lipsticks but i do have plenty of lines on my lips and they look more plumped and my lips look really juicy and beautiful i really enjoy them i'm going to do a video where i swatch all of the eight shades and i i bought all of the shades that were on the website so i don't know if there is more shades but i have eight of them and i think they are all, all all of the shades i enjoyed the lashes i enjoyed this lipstick is wonderful going in my purse the only product i didn't really understand but i need to kind of look up more is this brow like a boss ink brow gel uh it looks good now i mean i can't deny that it looks good but it's like that milani is it milani or maybelline mask where you apply it and then you peel it off that's how it kind of feels i had to scrap of a lot of products from the brush before i went in because pff, guys this is not moving so i know it looks kind of good now but i now but i need to work with it a little bit more just love my lips they look really good um yeah everything else worked really nice i am going to kind of set my face a little bit we're going with the remote feel kind free kind of free powder and let's just go in with this tarty that doesn't actually exist anymore puff but i like it and just set because i feel like i'm a little bit too shimmery or glowy for my liking i see how it's working now this foundation yeah, it's not as thick as it was before. That was everything. I really enjoyed this product. Let me know down below if you tried any of these products. Is there anything you want me to try out? I do have also a full box or full face of new makeup from Catrice. So that will also come soon on my channel. So if you want to see that too, don't forget to subscribe. And I have other products that I need to try out. I'll definitely do a swatch video with these lipsticks. But guys, that was everything. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, don't forget to like this video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe if you already haven't. And thank you for watching. See you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.